Laid right foot and it's keeping me awake at night. Do you miss living under the bridge, Phil, since your mum remarried? The house is nice. With a view of the bandstands and electric lights. But the neighbours are all a bit superior. And as for me mother, tray clocks, egg spoons, Sherry, it's six o'clock. <laughs> I feel like seeing you married a drake and not the Prince of Wales. No pianola though, you one upon us there. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the party. Billy, have you got a light? Where are you going? I'm late, I'm late. Good session, Phyllis. Not really. Face on Watkinson and stop the clock. We miss you down the baths. You ought to be in training just like us. I'm a working man now. Miss your Walter too. Yes. Time was, eh? I'm glad the game's running on its way. You've all the more reasons to try to qualify. I could try to find out where the army buries Walter. Maybe he'll put flowers on his grave. Do the same for your dad. Cemeteries all over Belgium. Ruby and my dad's buried at sea. Where his ship went down. Thank goodness you're here, Doctor. Mrs. Brazendale's unwell, mate. Upstairs as quick as you can. Mrs. Brazendale? think I'd know by now, but I can't remember whether I should just flush the chain or not. You usually let the doctor see. <laughs> Can I get you anything, sir? Cook's gone home, but she left some soup in a pan. No, thank you. I'm, I'm not hungry. I wouldn't mind a cup of coffee. Just... That's no trouble, sir. Should I go upstairs, do you think? Have I been asked for? The doctor said later. I'll bring the tray through to the drawing room. No, I, f I feel rather cosy here. Don't worry, I shan't get in your way or anything. Certainly, sir. Iris? You got a shift? There's a letter. Is it for you? No, it's for Ruby from Aurora Foundations. Ruby Moss! Makes her look like Princess Mary. Princess Mary couldn't afford this. It's one of Mrs. Blazingdale's best. May you get the sack? But the eye doesn't see, the heart doesn't grieve over. I can't believe you dragged me out of training. Do you want to show up in front of everyone? We need to get the you-know-what back. Oh. Do not lose this. You're meeting a Miss Mackay of five at the Adelphi Hotel. <sighs> Ruby Millicent Moss? How long have you been in corsets? Since I was 15. I was a bit of a late developer. I meant, how long have you been a corsetier? I'm a complete and utter novice, Miss Mackay. Aurora manufactures precision fitted garments. Are you acquainted with our merchandising methods? 
I read the catalogue outside. So you understand that an Aurora Corsetier is paid commission only and works in her own home when not visiting her clients? I do now. Have you ever wanted to be part of a revolution? Have you ever thought, when I'm old and grey, I want to be able to say I did my bit? I helped make the world a better and safer place. I was a postwoman during the war. The Aurora Spiral Band Steel Stay will take us all into the future. No more whalebone. No more inflexible rigid rods. Just an exquisitely disciplined silhouette with fluid movement possible in certain circumstances. Observe my figure. There is no need for haste. Tell me, am I sculpted well? Does my corset amplify my assets and disguise what nature failed to give me? Well, your waist could be smaller. You're looking slightly hunchbacked and your bust soft down the slippery slope towards the floor. At this company, we aim to temper our candor with tact. But you are the only candidate today to spot that I am, as a matter of fact, not wearing my customary Aurora Empire Line Foundation. Therefore, if you wish to accept the position, it is yours. Aiming to temper my candor with tact, I have to say, I'd rather eat tin tacks on a daily basis. Look, I'm not impressed by you either, but I need six women on the job by Wednesday. You can choose your own hours. I need an answer now. Head office wants to know what size of cycle is required. What do you mean, what size of cycle? I get use of a bike with an advert on the mug guard and a fee for me time while I'm on the training course. What's in the box? Of course, it's something. In the kitchen? And you can keep that cat away from it. Shouldn't even be in the kitchen. It's not even ours. That cat is my patient, and I get five bob for every new during I do. And I get 10% commission on every sale I make. The spoken specials go right through the roof. Extra for deep dyes and rollo bindings. Extra if you sell them additional suspenders. Hey, what sort of person wants additional suspenders? Don't okay. care. Neither should you. You got me into this because we need the money. And by the way, I'll need the parlour for my fittings. That parlour was your mother's pride and joy. Nobody goes in it. Ever. He won't even let me into clean, Ruby. He lets himself in when he wants to sit there sulking. I need a well-appointed chamber with lockable door and working fireplace, Iris. I promised Aurora that we can provide it. I loved it in there when we were kids. On a Sunday evening with the fire lit, all singing around the pianola. I never sang. Walt used to say I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. And you said that about me and it never stopped her from singing Cherry Ripe. Nothing ever stopped me from singing Cherry Ripe. <laughs> it was the only song she knew. Billy, the Aquitania is recruiting. I had a belly full of sea going during the war. That wasn't with Cunard, you were serving your country. Pass me the card. Your mother brought you up to try your best to expect the utmost from yourself. You're your own worst enemy. You're holding yourself back, son. And you're moving forward. Struggling to get the pianola out of hock. Trying to make it look like Mama's funeral never happened. And keeping the parlour under lock and key in case a breath of air should shift some speck of dust she touched. Huh? Well... We've all had a hard few years. So why should I be the one who has to shake them off like rain? Why can't I keep licking my wounds like you? Because you've got no wounds! 
Ah, oh, where are you storming off, deny? Somewhere where you can't follow me. The pub. 